This is Joshua Jarena with Access Communication. I wanted to create a short YouTube video tutorial to show how easy it is to program a video door station and a 2N indoor monitor. Some of the intercoms in the market right now could take a long time for programming. Some of them even an hour just to program one indoor unit and one outside unit. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to program one of our systems in a matter of minutes. Let's begin. Let's go ahead and open an internet browser and type 2n.com. And yes, that's the number two, the letter n.com. Then click on the search option on the right side of the page and type network scanner. The 2N Network Scanner runs a search on your DHCP network, allowing you to find every single 2N device that's added to that network. Go ahead and click download and install. Let me go ahead and start plugging things to my PoE switch here. Most of our 2N devices require standard PoE. Our new 2N IP style is the only one that we currently have that requires PoE Plus due to the 10 inch display that's built into it and some other features. Okay, now that everything is powered, let's begin. Begin by opening our network scanner tool. This will show you the amount of devices that are in our network. I'm gonna choose this one, the IP Force. When it takes you first to the browser, for the most part, you're gonna have a certificate error. Just click more on the login window, type admin, and as password 2N. The 2N devices, when you first log in, will force you to change the default password. Change the password, save it, and click on the change tab. Once logged in, you will notice there's a couple of different tabs, directory, services, hardware, and system tabs. But for this tutorial, we're only gonna work on the directory and hardware tab. Let's continue. Let's go ahead and click on directory and let's create a user. A user could be the apartment number or the actual tenant number. It's really up to the client to choose what name they want to use. In this scenario, I'm going to just call it Indoor View. On the user phone numbers, we're going to choose number one, but we're going to call peer-to-peer. -peer. Instead of using an actual phone number, I'm going to use an IP address to connect peer-to-peer. -peer. Type SIP colon, that's S-I-P colon, and type the IP address of the indoor monitor. Once you complete typing the IP address, go ahead, scroll down, and save your work. On the top left of the page, click on the back arrow. Then click on Hardware. Once in the Hardware area, click on the Button tab. Now click the plus sign under the Main Unit button. Once you're in there, you will see the username that we created. In this video, we called it Indoor View. So let's go ahead, choose Indoor View, Click Add, scroll down, and save your work. Now the system is programmed. Now let's go ahead and test what we just did. And there you go. Just like that, we program an indoor video monitor and a video door station. Thank you for watching. If you want more videos like this, Comment below or send me a message and I will gladly do it. Thank you and have a great day.